to my channel. Um, first of all, I don't even, I'm trying to get this straight, but I don't even know what this business is. I woke up with that hair like this this morning. And I'm like, really? I've tried water. I've tried, I mean, look, I've tried spit. I've tried everything. It's not going down. So we're just going to suffer through it, through the intro and the outro of this video, because the rest, the camera is going to be pointed in a different direction. But I wanted to do this video because um, I posted a picture, and if I can, or I think about it, or I remember, I'll try to insert it somewhere on here, but I posted a picture of this new bag that I got for my kit, I don't know, a few months ago, and I got a lot of response from it on Instagram, and a couple of y'all asked for a video review on it to kind of see how, like, I pack it and stuff like that, so I thought, you know what? I have a client coming to my house in a couple hours and I was setting up my little station and I was like, this is a good time for me to actually like film and tell y'all about this bag. At the time that I'm filming this, this is still available on Amazon. I will link it down below. It goes in and out of stock very quickly. Okay, I will say that. Just because it's available now does not mean it will be when I post this video. However, even if it's not in stock when I post it, does not mean it won't be in the next week. So keep looking back, check the link, see what it at least looks like, and search for other options because there are other options. The one that I got was the cheapest I could find, but there are other options out there. Keep in mind, this is the bigger of the two bags available that I have seen. So you do also wanna um, pay attention to dimensions and stuff if you're gonna look elsewhere. But I decided to go back to my Zuka bag. Um, I was carrying that big duffel that I had in my last What's In My Kit video, and it just got to be too much. It was too heavy. I loved how everything fit in there, but it just wasn't like conducive enough to travel with and go from place to place and take up stairs. And you know, you never know what kind of situation you're gonna be in when you're at a job. So I decided to go back to my trusty Zuka and it just didn't fit everything that I needed, which is the main reason I stopped using it to begin with. So I saw this bag on a, it's a closed professional group that I'm on, on um, Facebook, and somebody posted that they got this bag and put a link, and I think like 100 of us <laughs> purchased the bag right away. And I love it because, and you will see, I can work straight out of this bag. Um, I can have, Everything that I'm going to show you in my bag, all I do is I open it, it stays open by itself, and then I just work from it from the table. It makes cleanup so easy. It has a slip on it where it fits on the back of my Zuka, on the um, handle of my Zuka. I can't, I'm sorry y'all, I'm getting so distracted by this runaway. Don't you like that? I'm so classy. Mm, I just can't get over myself sometimes how classy I am. It's going to pop back. Is that it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So, um, it's just very, very, very convenient. So I highly recommend it for any makeup artist out there, but I also recommend it if you're a makeup lover and you travel a lot because this will hold everything and more. It will hold all your toiletries. It will hold all your makeup. It just really is a good bag. And when I paid for it, it was like $65. So totally worth the investment. It has held up really well for me in the past three months. I envision it working me, working for me forever. So if you want to see which bag I'm talking about and how I pack it and how efficient and effective it is in my job, then just keep on watching. Okay. So this is the bag. Once it's closed, it's on a table right now. Don't pay attention to the mess in the background. I got to clean that up, but it has two separate zipper compartments. The first top compartment is going to be the thinnest compartment. It does not stand up by itself. I'm leaning that against my tripod, but this, you see that this, that's a top to one of my skincare things that just fell off. Um, so this is what I keep in this. It has three separate pockets right here. I keep my lashes in these pockets. I have my brow book right there, stuff like that, that I don't really have any other good place for goes in there. I keep other lashes in here. Um, and I restock before every job. This is my makeup remover, my Chanel bronzer. And this is also where I put stuff that like Maybe I missed when I was packing up the time before. So these are two things that I used on my last client and I kind of forgot to put them where they are supposed to go. So I just stuck them in there. And then this right here is my little toolbox that has it's got blotting papers. It has flash glue, my pencil sharpener, disposables, cotton pads, alcohol, brush cleaner, that kind of stuff. So because it's so thin, it fits in here real well. And then underneath this, is a mesh pocket and this is where I keep 
my main eyeshadow palette, which has mostly, this is all the Viseart um, Theory palettes, the Cashmere and Minks. It's got Makeup Geek shadows, NAR shadows, and then most of those are MAC. So this is kind of like my neutral go-to palette that I always have open at jobs. So once I take that kind of stuff out and put anything back in that I don't need right away, I will close the zipper back up and I will open the big part. So this is the part that does stand up by itself. So you see it has these two strings right here that kind of keep it elevated on its own. So this is what I have out while I work. It stays open like this. This is a flap right here that will turn over. And this is where I keep my lip pencils. A lot of people say they will keep their brushes here. Keep in mind, the more that you keep on this section and on the top section, the harder it will be for the zippers to zip. And that's the only complaint I've heard about this case is that the zippers don't hold up long. And I think it's because they're not expandable and people are trying to put too much stuff in here. So if you do hold your brushes in there, just keep in mind, it's not going to close very well. So that's why I still keep my brushes in my brush folio and I keep my lip pencils here. And then I have a couple of like my Graftobian and RCMA palettes right here. So this is the bulk of the case. And this is what I work out of when it is open. Over here, I have all of my powders. I have more powders right here. I also have a couple of single blushes right here. And I've got some bronzers, my, all my hourglass powders, and some loose powders. So these are my powder products right here. Back here, I have my powder bronzers. And then all over here are my foundation and concealers and cream products, like cream contours, cream bronzers, that kind of thing. So in here, I have my, if I can get it out, this is one of my MAC concealer palettes. Got a couple of NAR Sheer Glows. And then most of this right here is my concealers. So I've got Lancome, I've got Tarte, Charlotte Tilbury, NARS, some MAC down there. So most of that is my concealers. I have a couple other concealers over here. And then right here, I have my Makeup Forever foundation. So you see I've labeled them on top. And that way I don't have to do this every time to see what color it is or find out what it is. I know exactly if I need somebody that is a 40, I know exactly where to reach for the 40. Um, so Makeup Forever down here, I've got some Charlotte Tilbury, some Hourglass, and my some L'Oreal Infallibles. So keep those right there. If it gets a little too much, I'll stick another one on top of my concealers. Right here are my Luminous Silks and my Pro Longwears. And I also have my Face Atelier back here. I've got an Hourglass Primer, my Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick that I contour with. Back here is some MAC Face and Bodies that I have. Again, I have them upside down so I can see what color they are. And then right here is the Milk Makeup Bronzer. I've got a Makeup Forever Foundation Stick that I use as a cream bronzer. I have a Ben Nye cream foundation that I use for contouring right here. This is the only MAC Studio Fix foundation that I have because I love the color. It's NC37. So I keep that. I have a couple of um, Urban Decay Naked Skin foundations. I have my NYX foundation mixers. I have an eye makeup remover down there. Just kind of whatever will fit in this little area. I have a cream blush from MAC and some more cream contour. That's Maron cream foundation. So that is everything that fits in this section. Now, there is one zipper that I haven't shown you right here. And in that zipper, I keep these two palettes. So this is my blush palette. I do have a couple of single blushes down here, but these are all the MAC blushes that I go to. And then this is my Cover FX cream and powder. Here I am. Hello. Cream and powder highlight palette. So those two things fit nicely in here. In one single layer, I would not double up again because it would not close very well, but they stay right there. So when I'm done, I just flip this over, close it up, ready to be put on top of my Zuka with the flap that's on the back. You can see right here, it's got this open flap that fits nicely over the Zuka handle. So that I just take this, my brushes and my Zuka, my Zuka has um, let me show you. It's gonna be really bad lighting, but that's my skincare. It's got, you can't even see, but it also carries like my cream blushes and my bigger palettes. 
my single eyeshadows and cream eyeshadows and stuff like that. So that, this and the Zook are all I need to carry. It really is a magical case. So hopefully you enjoyed that little tour through my makeup bag. Um, I am now going to set up my station and get ready for my client. I'm going to go to lunch with a friend and come home and work. So I would love to know if some of y'all end up getting this and what you think, if you already have it, and what you think, because I did post a link in my Instagram um, bio, and I think a couple of y'all told me you went ahead and bought it. So let me know what you think. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a very blessed day.